Welcome to Creations by Karen. And today we are going to make a diaper wreath. A diaper wreath. Why? Because somebody asked me for one. So I thought, okay. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, so things you're going to need to make your diaper wreath. Uh, I'm going to use these 14 inch wreath frames from Dollar Tree. There's one for you, Anthony. Okay. I have one. Just cutting it off. Dollar fifty. <clears throat> That's all right. Dollar fifty is better than something else. And you're going to need some rubber bands. These rubber bands I got also from Dollar Tree. Here's and I know you love these. Yeah. Here's a little your favorite. Yeah, they're your favorite. I know. Uh, I have some, and we're going to need some diapers. Now, I'm using newborn diapers. I'm making mine pink, so I'm using. Huggies Snug and Dry, size one, and you, my friend, are using Pampers. Oh, well, yeah. I... Well, get one. What's the difference? Because they're blue. Oh, See how this sugar. is pink? Yeah. And, this is... and this one has um, Sesame Street guys on it, and mine has Mickey and Minnie. Cool, eh? Good morning, Mara. We've got a, a, a guest on here, not a guest, but a, uh, a, a viewer from Australia. Really? Yeah. Welcome. Good day. Good day. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So those. We're going to need those. And we're going to need, I don't know, I'm thinking around 24 of them. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, what else are we going to need? Oh, some Chanel stems. You have some tied on oh, to your... On to my, yeah. Uh, right. Pre-prepared little thing. I'm using pink. Because, here, yeah. Yeah. So take one out. So you're going to fold it in half, like that, and about, uh, I don't know, an inch and a half down. Okay, okay. see how I, I hold this and I turn it? Is that an inch and a half? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm fine. Good day. Sure. Yeah. Three twists? Okay. All right. There you go. All right. And then we're just going to apply this to the, one of the rungs. Okay. So this is a 14 inch wreath frame. It has one, two, three, four, five, six rungs. Just pick one, Anthony. It doesn't matter. I come in from the bottom like this and I twist it around. This just makes sure that it's secure on here. Oh, good morning, good morning. And three good twists, or four, whatever. And then take a pair of dull scissors, dull is key word, and just cut that off. And you're not going to see that, so don't worry about it. Little scissors, some garbage is under the table. Make sure you have one handy. Don't go the under. Perfect. Try to hit the garbage. Like, seriously. I hit it. I hit the bed. There we go. There you go. Okay. You're not going to need those again. Now, I know you're going to love this part. So just take uh, one of your diapers. Now there's a, uh, okay, for those of you that aren't familiar with diapers, there is a, I call it a ruffled end and then a, like a flat one. So I'm using the part that has Huggy Snug and Dry coming here, right? Like this. So you. This way. So have the Pampers and to the front. Sesame Street. Yeah. Yeah, Sesame Street. All right, so all you want to do is pull it up so it's even. Come around the, and then you're gonna scrunch it like this. And make sure it's like tight. And then just take one of your rubber bands. And you just come around the top of it. Just like this. Cut 
cut up. Right? So then you just like take the top of it and just make sure that it's nice and flat. Right? Then just squish it to the side and put another one in and let it go. And that's all you have to do. So what I like to do is put them in and then just squish it to the next one. Oh, and these things snap. Yeah. But that happens. Don't worry about it. Anthony has his diaper inside the diaper. What? Oh. Giving your daughter a baby shower next month. Cool. All right, so make sure they're even, Anthony. And then just squish it together. So I want to put four between each rung. Squish it together. Why is this? It's not even, my friend. Okay, if you're gonna play with the big girls, you gotta do it right. I'm doing anything anymore. Okay, next one in. Yeah, yeah, I think you're gonna use about 24 of these. Good morning, guys. Hey, hey, how are ya? So this is pretty mindless. You can do this watching TV or whatever. The hardest part is putting the rubber bands on, really, and you just want to make sure that they're even. So I've got three in, and I'm going to put one more. Now, maybe you're not going to be able to put four in. I don't know. You're having a baby shower for your daughter. Hey, Lisa. How's it going, my friend? Are you making sure they're even? Oh, yeah, I, I know. So the hardest part of doing this is these rubber bands snap. There. So you're gonna put them all in. So there's four. I want to check the blue hanger. What? Check the blue hanger. You're fine. So there's four, and you're just going to go all the way around, and you want to make sure that they're all sort of even, as much as you can. <coughs> so while we're doing this, because this is pretty mindless, let's have a conversation, just random stuff. Go ahead and ask guys questions if you have any. Oh, Anthony, Cherry says. Oh, yeah. Oh, nappies in England. Nappies? Nappies. It's not Terry's nappies. What? Terry's. Which are just, um... Like cloth? Cotton, yeah. Like, when Kurt was born, they had just come out with disposable diapers. I'm aging myself, I know. But, and the only place I could get them was at Lens Mill store. And they didn't have uh, elastic around the legs, but it was better than diaper, like cloth diapers. You're doing great. <laughs> Just come around. That was my vacation. Jean, my vacation was amazing. And while I was coming here, my car wanted to go to the airport. But I let it here. Yeah, my vacation was wonderful. Thank you. Might happen again, not to, like not to. Some do use cloth. You use cloth, Sandy? Good for you. What about everybody else? Did you use cloth? Or did you use disposable? I think if you use cloth, you kind of like show your edge, don't you? Well, there's still people that use cloth diapers. It's, it's right? Not, it's not a lot. 
I think it's environmentally safe or better. Yeah. <clears throat> See how you got some gaps going on here, my friend? Oh, yeah. There's plenty in mine. Oh, yeah. Just uh, squish them together. Try I'll squish it dry. <coughs> coming out we couldn't pour them yeah I used them anyway I want these uh, special mixture ones do you I like the mini and Mickey ones did you guys see that um, bassinet I made out of diapers or the carriage I made one in my booth yesterday, and uh, it's all sorts of people wanting it. There's a lady coming back today for it. When we're done here, I'll show you what it looks like. I think I might make a diaper feet. <laughs> you used cloth until your boyfriend was left with poop diaper. <laughs> oh, God. Make steak cakes. Well, I'm gonna give it a go, my friend. Whoops. Snappage. So you just gotta come around. I mean, this would be a really, really, really easy craft to do. Just watching TV. Look, I'm almost halfway. That's a lot of diapers. 400. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Invading your space. That's a lot of diapers. Any more questions? Any questions? Go ahead, ask them. This is mindless, so we can answer your questions for you. Please make the bassinet on a vlog. Oh, they take so long, but okay. Maybe like a two and a half hour <laughs> live. Maybe I'll do it from home and then I can, I can keep saying that. I'm gonna do some stuff from home. I just get crazy busy. Anthony's face when you did that hair was priceless. Did you give me a dirty look? No. I never did. It's a line. A saddle. Can you make a saddle for an monument? Okay, I well, can do that. that one of them. I don't want one of A saddle? Yeah. Uh, for a gravestone? It just sits on the top. Oh. I think I made one last year. I think it's on my YouTube channel. If you go to Creations by Karen, um, you can scroll through those. I think I made a saddle, but I can do another one. Sure, let's do that. Before Easter, probably, because people like to go to the cemetery around Easter. Just keep coming around, and we'll count these when we're done. Are you going to teach us the baby carriage? Okay, I will. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but listen, I'll do it because you asked. Sure. Wow. See, I told you that. Well, there's really nothing else you can use that's clear. And I use the clear ones. Oops. I've never made a saddle. I was always afraid it would blow off of the stone. Um, yeah. 
can you can have issues with them, but certainly, but mine never seemed to move around. I'm the best. Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. Careful. Very careful. How many times do you wrap the elastic on the diaper? Once. Yeah, it'll just snap. Just come around here, people. Mindless. Mindless craft. I just got no questions. I have people with questions like asking me stuff all the time. Why I'd be a mindless task. <laughs> Did somebody ask me once, why do you have Anthony come on your lives? And I said, because if he can do it, anybody can do it, really. What? Oh, no. I will follow you, but don't know who your partner is next to you. This is Anthony. I have a booth at the Western Fair District Market here in London, Ontario, and Anthony is my next door neighbor who has a, a business called Red Door Candle Studio, and <clears throat> I invited him once to come on and make yeah. something with me. And now I'm like a hostage. Every Sunday it's like... That's a hostage. <laughs> He's not a hostage. <laughs> um, so it, it, he makes candles. What's, you couldn't do that when I was away because the internet was. Yeah, well, I tried, not but maybe it kind of like whatever the the um, technical issues that we have here with Wi Fi, whatever it is. Yeah, sometimes yeah. our Wi Fi is like. Uh, yeah, I can see stuff like that on Facebook. Um, okay. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> it just shows that. Anybody can do them. He has no crafting experience. He makes candles. Uh, but if Anthony can do it, anybody can do it. So I'm like the guinea pig, people. And he's put out some pretty good crafts from here. Hey? Yeah, it's good for I thought he said it. I thought he said he, it's a hot date on Sunday morning. Well, no, Jerry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How fun to have a friend with you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it it's a, that's all it is, it's fun. Fun. I'm coming to the end of mine. How are you making out there? A little I'll bit extra. I'll be here next Sunday. <laughs> Still putting his um, pamper, his uh, diapers on. So I'm using Huggies because they're pink tins. they got a pink edge. And Anthony is using Pampers because it has blue edge. Because I'm making a girl one and he's making a boy one. I don't know how many I'm going to get in here again. And then I'll count them. So you guys can see how many I put in. All right. have to just do some adjustments to make sure it sits flat. Aye. What size? Say number one. Number one plastic bag. Like I guess that's um, like newborn. Oh. Pampers oh. or diapers. Nappies. 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 Pretty sure I can get some nappies love. You have some interesting words. Okay. How was my vacation? My vacation was awesome. It was a great vacation. Many laughs. It's fun. Yeah. Exactly what I needed. The girl that I go with, Sandy, she's crazy. Like, yeah. seriously. I've met from the nice lady. Yeah, she's nice. I don't think she's crazy enough. Yeah, she's crazy. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Um, yep. Yeah. Like, she talked the guy into letting her drive the horse-drawn carriage taxi in Veradero. 
Like seriously. All right, this is gonna be my last one going in. Because so I'm at the end of the road here. All right, here we go. So there's my wreath frame. Ta-da! Let's count them, shall we? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. 23. 23 is in here. So it's off by one, which is great. That's not bad. No. We'll wait for you. No pressure, then. No pressure, Anthony. I'll just sip coffee. Just Nappies and how rich, Anthony. All right. Nappies and how rich. Right. Yeah, this lady knows Teresa. She's from close by where I am from. So cute, yeah. So if you're going to a baby shower, uh, <clears throat> and you could actually, and I'm not going to do this because I'm making this a basic frame, but you can go in between here and tie on like uh, soothers or little things of spoons or anything else you can tie on here. So I'm selling these, I don't know, probably for $20, and that is going to be the diaper wreath plus the boat. That's it. Thank you. Thanks, Bonnie. Great idea. And I have moments of brilliance, and not so much. Oh, it's Cute, though. It's Are the rubber bands pushed down next to the wreath frame? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yes, they are. What are you doing this week? I'm still doing. We're still doing this. He won't be still doing this. Well, I'm having a colonoscopy this week. Yeah, that's that's always a good time. No, not really. Are the rubber bands? Yeah, I know. So here's my issue with colonoscopy. Look, yeah. um, so I work for the Department of General Surgery at the hospital, right? So I know all the people that do the colonoscopies. Am I going to let one of them do it? No. It can't, yeah, yeah, I know. The hardest part is the prep, though. But I have a really strong family history. My dad died of colon cancer. So you know, got to have it done, people. Um, so once you hit the, you know, and it's not a... a Colon cancer is not a disease of 50 and over anymore. You see them at all ages. So that's best to get checked. Check is the worst. Totally. Totally the worst part of the whole thing. I agree, Bonnie. Yeah, it's not going to be fun. My friend Sandy's going to come to London to uh, take me there, but she's coming the day before to entertain me while all that happens. How are you making out there, Anthony? Yeah, so that'll be a good time. Mm. He's struggling. Y'all do things in life that are difficult. That would be one of them. The prep for the colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm sure it'll be. Burning ring of fire? Yeah, probably. I really need a haircut. Okay, put a few more in there, my friend. Do you want me to help you here? He does fantastic. Sure he does. What's your favorite part of making this? Putting the rubber bands on? Yeah. You can stick a couple more in there, my friend. Oh, mine's all right. 
faulty in it. No, you won't have 40 in it. See if mine's all lying flat and pretty. <laughs> Rubber bands everywhere. Oh my goodness sakes. I don't know what we're doing here. His favorite part is the end. And that's okay. That's more than 24 in the morning, too. No. Good morning, Sandy. I'm making a diaper, Reese, Sandy. Pure and utter entertainment you are, my friend. Oh. Um, just, I think, just one more, Anthony. Okay, should be fine. All right? Sled driver. You can give this to Maggie Ann if she has a boy. Well, yeah. She'll be trying for a baby soon. Yeah, Maggie Ann. Good morning from Michigan. Can you sell those with the characters on the can you sell those with the characters on the diapers? Well the diaper has it on it. I don't think it'd be a violation of the trademark. I don't know. All right. Okay, Anthony. I'll put mine aside for a second. Give me this. And then I'll dump it over. So. See how you need them flat? They're both flat. It's not flat. Mm -hmm. I can count those to find out how many you have. I can guarantee you, you don't have 23 of them. Party Carol. It's okay. Well, at least you may be here. Okay. Anthony's. Mine. Cool. Mine's now, a bit rough, rough on the edges for a boy. See, mine's a rough on the girls are what is that? Is that how you're justifying yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I want tea hearts. If you think these are terrible, cute. Anybody can make these. Box of diapers, wreath form from Dollar Tree. Bam, I'm gonna put a bow on it and that's gonna be it. End of story. And you can go ahead and put stuff on them, like I said. You can yeah. go in between and like put some ribbon and then tie stuff on it, but we're not doing that. All right, I pre-made the bows because I didn't know how long that would take. So I made a pink bow and it's just a uh, two ribbon bow. And Anthony's got a blue one, it's cute. And that's going to go where your Chanel stem is. So, just take this, find where your Chanel stem is, find it right here. And I'm just going to go around the top rung with my ribbon. Good morning from Massachusetts, very cold. It's not too bad here. No. That's a good open bonnet. 
If you don't know the gender of it, some people still don't want to know the sex of the baby. Often uh -huh. half. That's a great idea, Bonnie. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you could do like... Have we put on here? Like a... a yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, a blue and pink ribbon. This ribbon I got from... Uh, this one I got from Dollar Tree. It has like baby carriages on it. And it did come in uh, pink and blue. Just twist, it. Just twist it three times. It's good. Thanks, Gay. I like how my minis are all perfectly in the same space. That's my OCDness. I'm just going to cut this. going to tuck that back in. So you get, like in a box of newborn diapers, uh, you get a hundred and something diapers. Oh yeah. So you could easily make a few of these. And like I said, you could go in between these and tie stuff, and tie stuff on. Good morning from Sarnia. Hey, Nance. And you look at you, fluffing your ribbon. Look, look it up. Right? Awesome job. Except I think you should separate these. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hold them up. There you go. You could attach some rattles. You could do whatever you want. I am selling just the wreath. Done. You could even attach a bone to it because if you kids up, it's all to a dog and no one will it. Yeah, great idea. Thank you. Like, once again, moments of brilliance and then not yeah. a, then otherwise not so much. Yeah. That's me. I will, uh, I will fix this. You will and I'll take a pic. Oh yeah. Where's, oh, there it is. Okay. I'll, I'll take pictures of them. Remember that Anthony did the blue? I did the pink. Uh, so maybe they want to see the carriage. Can you grab that carriage for me? So you asked about the carriage. Yeah. They're near awesome. I don't know if I could do this on a live. This is quite heavy tough. as well. It is heavy. This is my carriage wreath. Uh, not wreath. Diaper. Diaper carriage. Not even did the um, feet. Like the wheels. Here this is. And I actually used the diaper box to make the frame. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And this took me, I think I did it in four hours at the market from start to finish. Um, well, with the wide, you could probably break it down into like an like hour of time. Do the box first and do the whatever stage next. Because, you know, one, a long wide. Yeah. Four hours would be or maybe I'll just. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll do it for you guys because you asked, but... I like this. It's cute, it's eh? It's neat. Yeah. So, if you're holding a baby shower, you could, like, <clears throat> make a, like a, if, it's a, if you know it's a girl, like, how cool would that be together? Um, and then you could, like, fill this with... I need mean, diapers for it, Kathy wants to know. This was 92 diapers that I made this, 92. I might make uh, a smaller one uh, to see how that goes. Mm. 92 diapers, yeah. Those fun though. Pre-roll? Pre -roll, I, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, pre-roll the diapers. Yeah, good idea. Are you hinting you're going to be a grandma? I would love to be a grandma, Curtis and Stephanie. Mm 
And that's all I'll say about that. Okay. All right, I think that's it, my friend. What are we doing next week? I have no idea. Oh, no idea. But we're coming up to Valentine's Day. So uh, last week we did the Valentine's Day gnome rail, with the two rail one. Yeah. Somewhere in the bowels of Facebook that um, that video has gone astray. I have no idea what happened to it. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, but it's similar to this one. Can you move this, I think? Wow. Uh, that I've got hanging up here. Uh, I'll just double. All right, so I'm going to, well, I don't know if I can do that. I was going to try to come on this week and do some stuff, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, and make sure you come back next Sunday at 9 o'clock and we'll, we'll show you another craft. I don't know what we're doing. Probably something Valentine's related, I think, would probably be a good thing. Because it's next week. Carol says, what is the yellow behind me? What is printed in the center? Um, oh, it's, it's, oh, it's just... It's fabric. Fabric. So it's like you've got spruce this and stuff like Yeah, this is like a... This is like a sunflower, but I, instead of putting a brown center, I put that in there. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Love it. Thank you. All right, Anthony. That's it for today. Okay. You guys have a great day. Yeah. We'll see and you next we'll, week. We'll see you next week. Love you all. Bye.